Hey guys, how are you? A uh, very quick one today. Uh, I'm having a problem here. I have my Naked Boards MC8, which is a little um, eight faders uh, MIDI controller. It has been sending random MIDI messages for absolutely ages. I had it set up in a way with logic that um, where this thing would be uh, sorted out very easily. But now I'm in Cubase and I didn't have the setup. And I want to uh, share with you how to deal with a faulty MIDI controller. It's very easy in Cubase. It's actually easier than with logic because you don't need to uh, mess up with the um, with the environment. So here I'm using my uh, new sample library. Prompt the guitars that I made for um, Zero G. And basically, what I wanted to do with this was to uh, MIDI learn uh, this fader. I wanted to slowly bring in the FX channel. And as soon as I go on Learn MIDI, it goes to zero because uh, there is a random MIDI message that is being triggered. In fact, if I go on the track and I go on MIDI insert and I open a, a MIDI monitor, you'll see that this is just going nuts, is randomly sending uh, this, um, which I yeah, set up in, uh, in channel one, uh, MIDI CC0, just because I don't use it, but yet contact reads it. So uh, I don't have uh, a way to MIDI learn a new thing. And how to deal with this is pretty easy. You just need to set up a MIDI filter. Can go here on input transformer, you go on global because you want it. On all the tracks, I just want, that um, MIDI message not to be received by uh, by Cubase, and you can set up type equal to um, uh, controller, and then uh, in this context, value one is the MIDI CC number, and you have it. You can well in my case is CC zero, so that's already working. And here you can set it on filter, and now. If I go again on MIDI monitor, you see that it stopped. So now I am free to assign this. I can remove what has been erroneously learned before, and then I can MIDI learn uh, on another channel. Here I have it on controller four, and now it works. And that's it. I hope this was useful to at least some.